Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks and Maniac for Toys. I'm here today with an exclusive SpongeBob SquarePants Mega Blocks opening video. This is a special kind released roughly, I think it was like February when these first came out in 2016, and I only found them really at Toys R Us. I don't know if they're available in other stores in other countries, but from what I've found, they were available at Toys R Us. They were $3.99 originally in the US, and these were released as a seasonal Easter special of Spongebob figures. Now I have two of them shown here with the case that you can find them all in, and they are intended to be mystery packs. There's really two of them to collect, but they have a whole bunch of the eggs that are the same color. And this one got a little bit dented because somebody was trying to feel it. You can't actually feel the pack in order to open these. So I found another way that we can determine what's inside of each of them. As you can see on the sides as well as on the back of the packaging, there are two different Easter costumes for Spongebob to have with different facial expressions. And the way that you can tell between each of these for what they are, just to know that there are two different ones, is a little code that's a little hard to see, but if you get it reflected in the right light, you can see it right there. Now, it should be a code that on one of them reads A15105CH. And the other one will have the same code, but instead it'll be A14. So that's your difference between these two, so you know they're two different types of packaging. And that's something we've had before in various blind bag packs from Mega Bloks, so it seems appropriate that through the system you'll be able to make two different figures. We got one open. Let's crack this case. No pun intended. Pun definitely intended. <laughs> I meant to include it earlier, but I halfway through forgot about it. So we have them both opened up. They are not full eggs, they're just shells, they're just half shells. So the one that we had was 15 is the blue, and the one that was 14 is the pink. If you just give me a moment, I'll go build them, and I'll show them up close. Here's just a quick look at all the contents poured out, and you can see it's quite a number of pieces to put them together. So here is a close look at both of them up close, and I have it set up so it's on a little turntable, spinning at a pretty good speed so you can see it all the way around. It was actually a pretty simple build because most of it is the same build as Spongebob. The only difference really is just fitting the pieces on the top for his ears. And I suggest putting the ear pieces on the bar first before you put the bar into the head. Because I tried putting the bar in first and you did have to move it up a little bit so that you could fit the ears on it. The ears are poseable. You could move them around. They're on simple little clips so that you could just hinge them. Just like any other Spongebob figures, uh, the arms can be moved at the shoulders with a, a ball joint. The mid arm area can be moved just like around each other and they obviously have clips for hands. The, le the, the feet and legs cannot move at all, um, but you can twist them from side to side so you can have the feet pointing in different directions. And you could obviously change the facial expressions with Spongebob as well. This, I can't really think of being in a Spongebob episode per se, because I, I know they've had a lot of promotional artwork with Easter time, um, where Spongebob would be in a bunny suit. But the only real evidence I can really find of this in the TV show, from what I remember, is when he is having the house party episode, and he, at one point in it, was dressed in a bunny suit. Problem is, that one was in gray, this one's a lot more vibrant in color, which I actually do like a little bit better. And I also like with this one, they actually do have back printing, well, I guess it would be butt printing, <laughs> because they have the little tail that's actually a nice, you know, little design to go with it. The instructions are not really that special, I had them still folded up when I last showed it in the video, but there's really nothing special to see there. They have the instructions for both of them to build, not just one per package. So it was just kind of whichever one you get, you got the instructions to build both, which are the same build. But they are really nice to collect. And let me know in the comments below, did you collect these? Did you have any interest in any of these And in general? Let me know if there's an episode where they do have more vibrant colors like these uh, from the TV show. Because I haven't watched every Spongebob show uh, episode. So 
Um, I could be easily missing something. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy Easter in advance. And we'll see you next time with more toy reviews. Um, if you're on Maniac for Bricks, you'll see a bit more of the Lego stuff than Mega Bloks. If you're on uh, Joe the Maniac, you'll see mostly the Mega Bloks stuff as far as this kind of construction toy. We'll see you later. You can check out more in a playlist, which I've put in the description as well as in the cards on the top of the screen.